Okay, hi, uh, my YouTube friends. Um, as I said in my uh, description of my page, I bought a, a tremolo pedal, which uh, I'm very happy with, and uh, I had promised to do a demo, and uh, here it is. And the reason why I do this is because, you know, before I went out and bought my own tremolo pedal, I, I went on YouTube and I looked at a lot of different people and a lot of different models and read a lot, and um, I just think it helps if you're, you know, whether you're a professional or another couch strum and joe like me uh it's good to hear what other people think and get to hear it yourself uh i uh, i like boss i bought a, a ds1 distortion pedal and i'm very happy with it i looked at a lot of other tremolo pedals and uh, there were some that i liked that were very expensive a lot more than this but because i had such a good uh experience with my distortion one i figured well i might as well stay with it and i tend to be kind of brand loyal you know i'm drinking the Kool-Aid with Fender here. I got the Fender Blues Junior tube amp and of course the uh, Telecaster, which is the greatest guitar ever made. Um, anyway, I looked at a lot of different ones. Uh, a lot of people said good things about the, the Boss TR. This is actually a TR2. Uh, one of the complaints I have heard is that there is a, a bit of a tone drop and a bit of a volume drop when you engage it. I don't know if I really hear it, but then again, I'm, I'm pretty much an amateur, so I, I don't know if my ears are tuned for it. I think when I play these videos back, because by now I've done this like six times and never get quite through it, um, so you tell me what you think, but when I hear some of these videos back, sometimes I think I do hear a tone drop, but who knows, but here we go. Um, anyway, like I said, this is a uh, tube amp Telecaster, and uh, this is what my sounds sounds like, just clean. Um, I'm playing with the uh, the neck pickup here just because it gives you nice you know, fatter cleaner open sound all right so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to engage this and what this does what a tremolo does is it basically just takes the volume and it oscillates it back and forth and you can set how the rate how fast it goes back and forth on off in the depth you know does it go completely off to completely on or does it go two-thirds down to a back pull up uh, I'm not gonna go through all the different possibilities because that could take all day but I'm gonna show you how I like to play it and the reason why I bought it is because I kinda like that that swampy blues kind of CCR sound which to me is you know, clean guitar uh, with a tremolo. Uh, with this tremolo here, the way I set it is I have the rate, which is how fast it goes, and I have that just a little bit past the noon mark, the depth, which is how deep it goes, uh, the same way. And then there's also a waveform on here, and you can have more of a, uh, a rounded wave, which kind of softens the effect, or you can have a very square one, which gives it a very, like, helicopter, very choppy sound. Um, so I keep that a little on the soft side, and uh, so you heard what it sounds like without. Here we go. Now if I turn it on, you can hear that? It's kind of like a shimmering sound, and, and one of the things I like to point out, uh, and I kind of learned this as I started playing with this, is that, you know, the temptation is to strum a lot, and so, you know, if I strum with this, it kind of loses the effect because you're not going to match the the rate in which it's uh, oscillating. I'll give you an example. Here's without. And if I engage it, so you really can't pick it up. So the best thing to do is either let things play. finger pick it, which is what I like. That gives you kind of an idea of what it what it can do the sound 
I'll just show you just just so you know. I mean, I, that's where I like it. I think you set it to where you like, and then you just leave it alone. Uh, just to show you just how much it can do, just how obnoxious it gets. If I crank everything full blast, so now the depth is it goes all the way out to all the way off, and the rate, I don't know how fast, but it's pretty fast when it does that. And then the waveform is very square-like, so you're going to get real... It, it, well, I'll just shut up and play it. And I, I don't know, but I think that would take quite a bit of acid to, to really enjoy that. So if I turn it back, you know, and like I said, the way I use it is I don't want it to take over the guitar sound. I just want to get a nice kind of shimmer of that. So that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, write me or uh, if I can uh, do anything else for you, let me know. Thank you very much.